Well, how the hell are y'all? How are I'm good. You? How are you? I'm fine. I just came off for this one day. Chrissy's uh, on. Chrissy's on hiatus. She's on. She done got engaged, and she got that crazy engaged sickness that women get. Yep. So I don't know. I don't know what the hell. Another damn about. Cajun boy. Yeah. I think. <laughs> that's what happens. You get hooked up with us Cajuns, and that's it. You know. I guess. All, it's all over with. <laughs> all over with the crime. So is that the new <laughs> saying now? Once you go Cajun, you're done. You're done. You're I mean, done. Yeah, you're done. Because I mean, what the hell? Oh, there's my little sister, Jeff. Oh, there's Eric. Let's see. I gotta get on this thing. Hey, Eric. Yeah, there we go. And my sweet little sister. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. We're twins. No, <laughs> no, I disagree. You're not twins. Hey, Denise. Hey, Eric. Hey, Denise. Oh, Denise. I love Denise. Hi, Denise. Oh, everybody likes Denise. We all love Denise. Hey, Denise. Right? Just don't tell Ernie. Yeah, don't tell Ernie. Don't tell Ernie. Ernie, Ernie get upset. Right. So uh, you having a good vacation, though? Not really, because I'm, I'm still I'm still trying to get shit done. And, of course, uh, uh, every time I turn around, I get called in for something or something's going on so it's 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 always some bs some drama so are you you know what they yeah. say if you're gonna be impotent might as well be impotent right be impotent i ain't impotent <laughs> oh shit. yeah well that's what you get for hanging out on roofs right hi joanne <laughs> he's just hanging around on the roof <laughs> and it doesn't always i don't he'll do a drive-by biscuiting yeah, you, you just throw a biscuit at him, Denise. You'll be all right. Yeah. Well, no, throw it at us. You throw them day old biscuits at you. No. You can knock you the shit out. <laughs> well, Chrissy's not here. <laughs> and uh, Carla, Carla uh, contacted me, and she has uh, family in from out of town. So we're going to talk about, you know, we're gonna, basically uh, tonight we're going to talk to, to Michael, and we're going to see about what his show's about, and we're going to talk a little bit about Carla. And uh, give you a little background information on Carla, and uh, let Michael you hear straight from Michael himself what, what he's got to. What is that? Oh, oh busy, uh, busy, busy. Oh, that's supposed to get background on Carla. Whoops. No, I got. I got. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say. Wait a minute. Hi, Facebook okay. user. Not sure who you are, but what's up? I think that's on it. It's on network. I gotta check. Yeah, I always love when those pop up. Facebook user, it's like, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to, there it is. And it's really weird because normally somebody will be like, "Hey, it's me," and it's like, oh, "That's weird." We're like, "Why are you as a Facebook user?" That's Tim Coomer. Hey, Tim, how's it going, brother? Point proven. Usually, you know, usually when Tim comes in, you know, uh, it shows up Tim Coomer, but. Hey, what up, brother? I hope you're doing good, brother. Yeah, that's what hey, I'm saying, Mike. I don't know why, because it's a haunted network does that to us. So uh, uh. We're, that's, we're on, a, we're on, we're streaming on Paralynx on my page, the Paranormal Swamp Investigation page, and it's haunted network. And uh, yeah, we know it's you, T Dog. We got you, brother. We, I, yeah. I found you. I tracked you down. I he's just, down. he's ghosting us. He's ghosting down. us. Track you down. This goes to show. Don't ever pop up to surprise Howard. He'll track you down. I will find <laughs> you. Like a Cajun bloodhound. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes. I don't know. When it comes time for dinner, yeah, I'll shit. I'll fight him over there. Get me some food. Right? You better watch him, man. You ain't never dealt with that midget skinny dude. There's Paw Paw. Paw Paw Tim. Paw Paw Tim. They just call him Paw Paws. So I got to show you something, Howard. I don't know if you've been on Facebook Train. lately, but uh, some friends of mine uh, made me some stuff. Speaking of friends, Cheyenne Tackett, uh, her and her dad, Jeff, and her grandmother, Dee Thorne, uh, they sent me some gifts this week. So I got two death whistles, which I'm excited about. The one, as of right now, I really don't know where it was, went to. So that's kind of weird, but um, here's the other one. So if if you guys have seen the the last Ghostbusters, 
this is the death whistle um, from it. And Jeff made this for me off of a 3D printer. So You're talking about Afterlife, right? Yes. Okay. Yep, that is the death whistle from Afterlife. And Just with this next one, um, I was speechless like I am now and astounded. Um, I love horror movies for people who know me. Um, and they sent me. Uh oh, look at who this. You know, this, this is. This. Like, is that, that the is, huh? Man, I wonder if that's Josh Roseberry. No, that's Eileen Jones. Well, came a Facebook user. What's up, Eileen? But hey, this Eileen. is a, the layment box from Hellraiser. So if you've ever seen the movie Hellraiser, this is the yeah. box. So, yeah, I'm excited. So I got to give a shout out to uh, Jeff Tackett and his, his daughter Cheyenne and their mother, grandmother, D. Thorne for my awesome uh, no presents. So. Yeah, Eric, I'm going to let you do that first. Okay, what, uh, let's see. Let's just do this. Okay. Eric wants I'm you gonna... to blow the whistle. Blow that thing. Well, well I man. would, but surprisingly, uh, this one does not work, and we don't know why. Um, he tried to explain, but he cannot figure out why this one doesn't work. But if I can find my other one, which is a skull, I will give it a blow. And that's son. Who what? Angel? I'm going to take a hiatus. I'm going to go get it. Get that damn thing. <laughs> so while we... I can see you now, Eileen. See who? Eileen, she said, can you see me now? I said, I Eileen can who? see you. Eileen who? Jones. I'm back. I found it. That was fast. <laughs> well, he put it in my paranormal bag, so this is the other one. So, I don't know. I hope... Kind of looks yeah. like Skeletor. Right, dude? By the power of Grey Skull. <laughs> Hold on. I think that's how it goes. I don't know. I've never had one. And Aiden has a one he got from Amazon, so. I don't know. I'm still learning. But anyways. Maybe that's yeah, that the was... one that doesn't work and it's the other one you're looking for. <laughs> right. Oh, there we go. I don't know. It's supposed to make like a screaming noise, so. But I, I still find them freaking awesome. So. You know what that care. means? You know what that means, right? I'm not a good blower. You, you suck at giving blowjobs. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> hey, hey, Whoa. hey. Oh, wow. That came out of left field. Damn. <laughs> Somebody came oh, out of the woodwork. Uh, right? Damn, that was mean as shit. No, Eileen, it, it's been it's been raining, but it hadn't been that bad. It's it's it comes in waves, so it, it's not bad bad. But uh, it's just it slows down everything that I'm trying to do. So just float You're your black. ass on down here in New Orleans. You don't want her in New Orleans. You want her there? No. Actually, and somebody Eileen, went to the border for her. I think it's more of when is New Orleans not flooding? Mm. Oh, shit. There it is. You can't get blowjobs, but you're all pro at humping legs. I True that, dude. True that. And just so you know, Tim, um, well, kind of lost your place because... Uh, well, I, I nailed Jason last weekend. Costy. House was safe, but work got flooded. Oh, wow. Well, at least you're okay. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Well, and hopefully work will still pay, even though you can't come in because it's flooded. Yeah, we got means for all that shit. It's like people who got their hands out of the flood water. You just see just flood water and you just see hands. We're okay down here in Louisiana. You know, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah, it's all good till a crocodile comes swimming up to you. And there's shit. alligator, whatever. Mm -hmm. Alligators. Big old snake. Yeah. 
Yeah, Eileen, let me know if, if it can be any help. Come out there. I'm not coming to Mississippi. I'm not. I'll go to Mississippi if you want to meet me on the Gulf Coast. You know, we hit the casinos or something. I don't know. Right. I the golf out, court. Mm. I ain't going out there to Deliverance Country. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, if she's up by quit, man, that is definitely deliverance country right there. She's up ding, there. Ding, 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 ding. Nope. I'm no, good. We love, we love Eileen. We, anything, you know, we, she needs help. We'll be out there. We'll definitely help her out. So that's what we're we doing a pair of family. We all have to take care of one another. Yep. So, but uh, before we get started, I want to yeah, say I'm gonna uh, swim at the sharks with the Eileen. Why not? I'm gonna swim at sharks. I ain't swimming no damn sharks. Me either. Bro. Unless it's a baby shark. There's Jenny. Hey Jenny. Hello, Hi Jenny. Jenny. Yeah, that's that's sad, Joanne. Um when I was down there from Hurricane Katrina, uh, a lot of insurance company did, did that. They still doing it, man. Yeah, they and that's still that's horrible, you know. And that's horrible. I mean, to deny people. I'm gonna tell you something right now. People right now in Louisiana are going without insurance because uh, my brother's been looking for insurance because his his insurance goes out of effect Monday, and. It's because the insurance company has pulled out of Louisiana. Then the ones that they haven't pulled out have filed bankruptcy. Dang. Yeah, so, here yeah, in Texas, we have insurance and flood insurance. Y'all have have better have tornado insurance. <laughs> I mean, you can get regular insurance, but the wind and, and hail coverage, is that's yeah. where they get you. Everything's yeah, an endorsement. <laughs> I remember t talking to a ex fire chief when I was down in Gulfport, and uh, he was talking because they do not insurance denied his claim as well. That's and what they so do. He said, uh, "I figured yeah. out how I'm going to get my insurance claim." He says, "I'm going to go in. I'm going to make me a hamburger," and he goes, "I'm going to splash some um, oil up all over the walls because when you're cooking, grease splashes." He goes, "And I'm going to go." Take a nap and forget about it. He's going to set his house on fire so he could, uh, yeah, get his claim. And it's sad that people have to do that to get their stuff covered. Hey, yeah, Justin. They basically, do. they basically do because, I mean, they, they're yeah. not doing shit. I nope. mean, for anybody down here. I mean, there's still people. I can, I, If I was to go live and go into the South Shore, there's still – Hundreds of people, hundreds of people with blue roofs still. They call them the blue blue roof. It, what it is, it's just a tarped roof. Yeah. Blue tarp. Yeah. And, and yeah. a lot of houses are still destroyed and everything. And there's insurance companies that aren't doing anything for them. They, they deny, they deny, they deny. And then they don't want to give you enough money. They want to give you pennies on what you're paying and you know, what they're supposed to cover. Yep. So you have to fight them. The attorneys are loving it down here because they get to take everybody to court. You know, let's go to court. Let's go to court. You know, of course, they get a cut of that. So yep. it, it, it's 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 bullshit. It's bullshit. But uh, before we get started, I uh, wanted to say this. Uh, Petri dish. Uh, I'm, that's the only show that I'm really doing right now. Um, of course, Chrissy's not here today because she had to go pick up her son at the airport. And then uh, and then she got officially engaged today. And then uh, she's been doing. uh so I'm talking and unholy trinity for me. So I've been doing the petri dish. Uh, we made some changes on the petri dish. Um, we got some new hosts on there, and for for about an hour and a half, we had a two hour show. But for about an hour and a half, we're going to do petri dish, and then for the last half hour, it's going to be called Petri's Paranormal Rant, and that's when I go off. And I'm just, it don't matter. Whatever's on my mind that minute, that's what I'm going to rant about. I mean. I'm just curious what's going to be different from the other show. Because don't you I rant at the other show too? No, not really. I don't rant that. No. <laughs> oh, whatever, Howard. 
I might be calling. I might be calling people out by name. I don't know what the hell's going to happen. I mean, <laughs> but I'm just letting you. It's going to be a rant show, so be warned. Yeah. Be warned. Just give me and a that, heads up if my name's on the list. <laughs> yeah, uh, ditto, man. You know, like yeah, because I just want to watch. I mean, I don't care if you rant about me all you want. Right, I don't right, care. Right. But no, uh, I just wanted a heads up of what's being said. So <laughs> when it comes to the show, I'm like, yeah, I won't get blindsided by, oh, did you hear about this? And it's like, no, right. What? Shit, I will come on and rant about myself with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can tag team myself. <laughs> that sounded so bad. Yeah, don't worry about what I just said. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <clears throat> I think he wants to rant about Tim. You don't touch the Paul Paul. That hey, man. You, know, that man's you can a rant Paul. about Tim Kohler. You can rant about Tim Kohler. But that's what I'm gonna do. I, that's I decided to do that part of the seg. It's gonna be a segment of the show, and that's what it's mm -hmm. gonna be dedicated for. What'd you say? So I can't hear you when you. Are you sure you can only do it in a half hour? Are you sure you're gonna be able? That's to all you want me up? to do it for, because man, look, if I get on a roll, that's gonna be it. I mean. I, I know. I'm like, I'm like picturing you may need 45 minutes for that. I, don't I have to cut myself off. Right. And that's that's hard for you to do, though. I know. I that's know. what I was saying. That's why when it's come up, I got to go. That's all I got that's to say. Got to go. Yep. Got to go. Got to go. But, yep, that's what we'll be doing. So, that besides that, that's some things that we're, we're – uh, You from somebody texted me. Dude, uh, you I sat there and for a second. There. I did too. That's what I like. He's, he was in right. mid sentence and he yeah, stopped. I know. It, it comes up, man. It's like you're I'm, like, huh? look, I'm, 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 <laughs> people call me every freaking time, man. I'm in the bathtub every freaking time. I mean, I'm sitting there. I, it's like they they smell me or something. They know that I'm in that water and something. I'm trying to get clean, you know, trying to get the swamp ass out. And as soon as I get to the, I mean, ass hits the water. There's somebody on the phone ringing. I mean, it's like, man, guys, say, come on, people. I mean, really? Well, because they know it's the cleanest time to talk to you. That's right. But I'll do, uh, I'll do video. I don't care. I mean, I'll go face out. Oh, I, I, that's How me. you part? You party anyways? I, I just hey, there's no bubbles in my water. You, you just <laughs> <laughs> Bubbles with a little scuba diver investigating. We know, man. <laughs> the rubber duckies just dominating. I do have toys I play with in the tub, though. I mean, what grown man doesn't have toys in their tub? Come on, really? Me? <laughs> Me? I can just see Howard with rubber duckies. I don't have toys in the bathtub. I got dinosaurs. I got whales. I got sharks. I got. You got a submarine? I got a, I got a <laughs> motorboat, though. I got a, a bass boat. <laughs> I do. I launched that thing off. And it, you got a submarine. Little, it's investigating the cave. It's a little, dark little, cave. Little battery in the motor. <laughs> it, got, it got lost in the cave. <laughs> Periscope up. Oh, jeez. Hey, so I, how is it that when you get in the shower and you bathe and stuff, and then you get out of the tub. How is that towel dirty? And like, aren't you clean? Like, really? There it is. I called him the other day and he was in bathing. That's right. Every time I call Scott, he's taking a shit. Dude, that is not a lie. He called me earlier to make sure I was coming over tomorrow. And we're sitting in the middle of talk. I'm like, dude, I got to go. He's like, why? I'm like, dude, I got to use the potty. He's like, what? I said, dude, I got to take a shit. Okay, go. Every time, dude, it does not fail. Ooh, Tim's like Jennifer's calling you out, Howard. Tim is like my coffee. He just cleans my bowels. I was. Out. I get the swamp ass, and then after the swamp ass, and last week I had, I think it was two rare occasions of mud butt. So I mean, yep. it came close. So I mean, you got to take a bath. You got to shower off and take a bath. I mean, oh yeah, soak Absolutely. some bones. I put some Epsom salt in that tub. God, I just sit in there and soak. Just get the old bones. I'm an old man, so I got to soak. <laughs> But so am I. I, I like Eileen Jones's idea of a new show for you, Howard. The tub made me go to the ER. <laughs> Not my tub. I love my tub. 
I like that. Muddy like River was, was flowing. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, Cheyenne, I seen it. Thank you. Uh, I read a little bit of it. Thank you. Was it the directions on how to blow the whistle? It is. Because <laughs> she says you're retarded and uh, don't cover the holes and blow. Slowly. And he doesn't give good blow jobs. So I will figure it out one day. I just see, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I had it going yesterday. Leave me alone. I feel retarded. No, it's just you're under pressure now. That's under what it four. is. That's what it is. I hate being under pressure. I love I love being in a tub when you get just sit in a tub and and I'll play Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> <laughs> and then one of the theories of Bermuda Triangle is methane gas that comes out of the ground. <laughs> And, uh, and uh, I'll squeeze off a little methane for it. And the, nine times out of ten, that damn bass boat will sink. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I have to go to Claypool this to land. dump my truck. And, oh, my God, if you – like, this this landfill is huge. And, man, you when you get in there, dude, you can just smell the methane. You're like, golly. I wasn't like, around it. Like I used to, I was on trash for several years working for the city. So, I, you know, I'm used to all those weird smells and weird shit you would see in trash. But man, that methane, dude, that will mess you up. I'm just saying. Man. I'm going to do that. I will too. <laughs> Jackie's gagging. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm a little curious, and I don't know why I'm so curious, but since things disappear in the triangle, how do you make things disappear in the tub? I'm telling you that nothing. That, I'm telling you every time that boat I'm, sinks. I'm telling you, man, it's a it's a dark cave. Oh, no. A dark cave. That, that that cave's got bars on it. Oh. It says exit only. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a weird smell. I smell like you, Eileen. I smell like you. Oh, I thought All she right. was talking to Howard about that. I think she is, too. <laughs> Dang, Joanne. Damn. Horse farms are like that, too. Yep. Uh, I think bill, bill farms are the worst. I hate the smell of bill farms. Is the ER part. <laughs> it makes a little swirly wave in the water. Boat, he's just on. Little man, I got a little <laughs> dude. He just swims along. He, he's gone. So, how many swim. years have you been doing this Bermuda Triangle experiment? <laughs> Since about age of five. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, like, he's lost coming up with new ways. <laughs> he's lost many Hot Wheel cars like that. <laughs> many boats. I put a little pirate ship in there and stuff. It'll sink. And whatever I can fit that float to that. Ivory <laughs> soap works good too. Ooh. Oh, that's like a good it. one, Tim. Did you see what Tim put? <laughs> he would know that. He's a sailor, isn't he? He is. He's a seaman. He really is. He's a seaman. He's a seaman. I think he was a first class seaman, too. <laughs> well, that's better than being private. Uh, I was there. I was. Uh, I couldn't say anything about that. Yep, I was there. I was a private, a private first class, and a specialist, and a corporal, and that was it. Anyway, so army men when I was a kid, that's about as far as I got to it. Yeah, yeah. I did little army men. <laughs> and you blew the motherfuckers up with a firecracker. Boom! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, one of the funniest ones was I had the G.I. Joes. Oh, yeah. And I would put a match to one of the trucks 
and put like a burn spot and go, well, that's where it was hit. It's like <laughs> I actually damaged. <laughs> the that's so nice. Dude, that is, that is iconic right there. I've never even thought about that. All right. Let's talk about Carla. Let's get this knocked All right. right all right, Car- Carla is a co-founder of and paranormal investigator for Southern Fried Spirits. Paranormal. Uh, par- uh, paranormal in Texas. Oh, we, let's see, we got Nikki joining us. She finally got the message. Hi, uh, Nikki. She's a paranormal Hi, investigator and administrator for DFW Ghost Hunting. Uh, she lives in Texas. She's a Everybody podcaster. Texas. She's with, 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 yeah, no. She's with Paralynx. She's a host on Paralynx. She's one of the co- uh, host for our show. She's my co-host. For exploring <laughs> our secret past. Did you like the music I was playing on there for you? I did. Yeah. Adam Ant stripped for me. Yeah, strip. <laughs> so I was talking to Michael earlier. He was bare ass. I was just no shirt on. I mean. Hey, I, I, I just had no shirt on. Everything else was covered. <laughs> so wait a minute, I'm gonna t- Michael, you you single? You you're single, aren't you? I'm single. All right, gu- girls, look. If you like a hairy man <laughs> with a dad body, come on, ladies. Hit, hook this man up. He's Show your little brothers. wookie. He's your little wookie. I'm gonna tell you that now. Oh, <laughs> he take you to get some barbecue. I'll be back in about five minutes, guys. I have to drop the hair off at school. I'll be right. back in about five. See you soon. Okay. He'll take you to get some barbecue, and, and if you guys don't like that, fuck you. I'm going to Texas. You can take me to get some barbecue. Mm. I, yeah, I put out. Nice I put out. You give me some Texas barbecue. <laughs> 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 give me some damn brisket. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just give you the brisket. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, the DFW area, Eileen. And for those of you who don't know what DFW is, that's Dallas Fort Worth. <laughs> yep, Carla's more on the outskirts of the far side of Fort Worth to me, and I'm in the Dallas area. Not that far from Mineral Wells, then. Nope. She's close. She's like 20 minutes from Mineral Wells, and I'm like an hour and 20 minutes. Oh dang! And that's another place, people. If y'all, if you want to just go off the beaten path, like. In- I mean, don't get me wrong. They got a lot of people out there that love to go to these uh, their their bucket list spots, and if they're booked or whatever, always Mineral Wells. I mean, Mineral Wells is a good place to go. They got a great oh, yeah. place out there to go investigate. And I definitely want to check Mineral Wells out. I really do. You know, and it, you know, everybody's got that bucket list. That man, it's getting harder and harder. You know, to get in your bucket lists. So. My only bucket list right now is Waverly Hills. And the only reason why it's late Waverly Hills is because when I go up there and when, when, when uh, it's all said and done and all this bullshit's done with, with the, the, the fighting with them, and uh, uh, when uh, they become triumphant on, on their victories and everything, me and Ernie Packer will be running through Waverly Hills naked. That's probably why you don't get invited. Oh no, we're well, invited. I'm invited. I'm just, I just, I'm just, I'm just waiting. That's the only place I got my mind right now. Me and Early will be sharing tip to tip. They, they probably heard that. They were like, "Yeah, let's be sent that invitation." We're Y'all need to do that. Day. Y'all need to do that with a plate of biscuits and gravy and eat while you're running naked. That that'd be. Killer. I mean, no, that actually kill you. I mean, you drip some of that hot gravy down, and ah, uh, you'd be all right. Now nah, you'd be all right. No, see, you don't understand. Howard's gonna have a hot sauce in his. Ooh. <laughs> but kind though, because if you're gonna go hot, you got to go hot, hot, not like Frank's. I'm talking like Mad Dog 357, something like that. That's 357,000 on the Scoville. You, Scotty, yeah. he, he is the, the, the dude who eats all the hot, hot shit. And that was stupid hot. Um, it was, I don't think it would have been as bad, but, you know, um, one of us ate a $9 million on the Scoville mini nitro gummy bear and then ate a chicken wing with That's that fucking sauce on it. 
Damn. That's what I'm saying. After they come become Triumph, Tim and Charlie, Tina and Charlie. Yeah. Once they become, yeah. Then that's when. Oh. Yeah, Eileen, um, let me know when you're in Plano. That's right by my neck of the woods. Absolutely. SaveWaverlyHills.com. Do you sure you want to get involved with that? With what? I'm Eileen Jones. The Scoville scale? No, Eileen Jones. Oh, I've investigated with her before. I have too. <laughs> I brought me a rape whistle also. I haven't investigated with her yet, but we're going to investigate. Well, I'm going to investigate. I don't know about her, but I definitely will. I love investigating with Eileen. Yeah, she's fun. She is fun. Oh, you're going to be in Denton in two weeks? I'll have to check my calendar and make sure I can be free and be in Denton, too. I got to be free. <laughs> check out Goatman's Bridge. Ooh. There's a few spots up there. Now, what the hell are you going to take? People in Texas don't want you there, Eileen Jones. Yeah, shit. People in Mississippi don't want you there. See, even how like agrees you, with <laughs> oh, Lord. Really? I just said we were going to investigate. Good Lord. Not like I offered to suck on your toes or something. Oh, Weirdo. yeah. Uh, doing a wedding? Oh, okay. Well, have fun with that. And uh, yeah, maybe do something in Plano. Find a spot to investigate. Or just That's chill they, out. Plano is where they make the fishing boxes. Plano is where mm. they make a lot of stuff and upcharge it. <laughs> Damn, Tim, you got enemies all around the world. Hi, sis. Well, Tim, Courtney's I wouldn't in. be advertising that if hey, I were hey, you. Hey, Courtney made it. Hi, Courtney. Courtney, why is it every time I come on the show, you put an NC-17 rating on? Because this what Howard. Because of Howard. <laughs> oh, I thought it was for my benefit. <laughs> but you know what's funny, though? I don't think it's because of Howard, because... I think it's because of Chrissy. <laughs> hey, Enoch, how's it going, brother? Hey, Enoch, how's it going? Enoch, how you doing, brother? I got I, I always everybody's Enoch. I call him Enoch. I don't know why. I just maybe it's the way I pronounce shit. Um, it's your Cajun tongue. Hey, Gabriel. Hey, we can bring Enoch in if you want. Yeah. You want to come? Anyway, he's got that. He's got that vibe going on right now. He looks like a freaking like a, a magician or one of these. Ooh. I was like, I was checking him out when we was doing a meeting, and man, I was like, yeah. he's awesome, man. Look at this fucking man. He's awesome. I had him on the show before. Uh, let me see if I might. You want to come in, Enoch? Enoch. Enoch. Oh, it is Enoch. Enoch. My bad. Enoch. Huh? God dang, man! I'm right about something. What finally. The fuck? Shit. Jackie, I'm hey, I was, <laughs> I was, I was right there with you, Michael. The That's this. yeah. Well, there's my sister-in-law. I, I was going from the biblical sense, I guess. Or maybe I've been pronouncing that wrong too. How you bet? Yes, Eileen, we're all in shock right now. Howard was actually correct. He was correct on the pronunciation. Suck another one, Eileen Jones. <laughs> yeah. What Howard said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Scott. You're like, I got nothing so yeah, what Howard said. <laughs> oh shit. So uh, since I wanna know. Michael, hey, tell me. Family with you. His family always comes in. I'm surrounded by appreciation. Oh, I'm he's by family. Oh, wow. So tell us about you, Michael. I don't. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And tell us about your show. So I've met. See, do, do you actually like? 
Let me ask you this. Before you even get started, do you go back in right. time and travel in time to go back to explore the history? Through research, you have a time yes. Machine. Do you have a time machine? Actual time machine? Not in the sense of a machine I can walk into and say, hey. Well, what the hell? Why would... <laughs> Hey, this ain't Bill and Ted's I excellent was, adventure. Man, I'm, I'm just waiting, saying. That's what I'm just talking about, man. I want to. Shit. Yeah. Looper or something. Fuck. Give me something. <laughs> well, actually, I can loop. <laughs> I love you, Courtney. No, so I have been raised around the paranormal. It's been around all my life. I had my first experience at two years old. I didn't start investigating until about five years ago when a team approached me and I was like, you mean this TV stuff is actually real? People do this? And so I was like, next day on a paranormal investigation, I have done around 90 investigations now in four years. So kind of proud of that because... I have investigated in Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, and West Virginia, Florida, and soon to be Louisiana. That's badass, dude. Yeah. The first one I leaned was Yorktown Memorial Hospital in Yorktown, Texas. So talk about diving right into the rough end. <laughs> Now, when you did Arizona, where'd you go in Arizona? Arizona, we did the, I think it's pronounced El Tuvre, the hotel in the Grand Canyon. Yep. Where my friend of mine was telling me there's a painting there, the owner that follows you, the eyes. And so I was standing there with my phone, my phone camera filming the camera. It's kind of shaky, but you literally can see the eyes following you. Even though the Dude. painting never moved. That's, that's was, crazy. Yeah. You, and they uh, said the legend of it is the owner will always keep his eye on his hotel. So he's always watching. I don't think I could get down there, dude. That trip would scare the shit out of me. There's no way. Mm -mm. But uh, I've been to Jerome, Arizona, and that's a cool little town. <clears throat> it's supposed to be a ghost town, but it's like a tourist attraction. Right. I think I heard about that. It's kind of on the west side of near yeah. Flagstaff. Right. Yeah. But yeah. As far as making that trek down to the bottom of the Grand Canyon, nope. You're on your own on that. I ain't riding no fucking donkey or ATV. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. But uh, I, I swear, I, I felt myself being like, they always say you're going to turn into your parents when you're older. I swear I had those moments when I'm sitting there with my friend and we're looking at these teenagers that are sitting on the very ledge of the rocks. Oh, no. Nothing underneath them. And I'm like, uh, please back up and get to yep. a safe spot. And I'm like... Damn, I turned into my parents. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, that, yeah. Um, I mean, I'd, I, sit, I'd get a lawn chair and just sit right there behind them. No way. With a bag I'm, of popcorn and just wait for them to fall. That I don't know. I'm just like, like, look down. <laughs> it's like, part dude, of me is yeah. like, I'm a paranormal investigator. I don't need you to, you know, create a spirit <laughs> to talk to. I'm sure there's plenty here. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I mean, I've been there. I've been in the Grand Canyon twice. I've been there. And the first time didn't bother me. But as I got older, the second time I went, uh, there's that platform that has, like, oh, the, the clear. Yeah. Dude, I walked out on there, and I about shit my drawers. Uh, I got vertigo. I'm like, nope, get me the hell off of this. I yeah. actually didn't go on that platform. I don't think that was around where we were. But That's so huge, really freak, man. You really freak out if you had to get on one of those, the, the, the new fad or whatever it is. It's a fad. Where they got these slides that go outside and made out of glass outside oh, of a yeah. building. Oh yeah, no, nope, nope, nope. And it's like mm -mm. nothing underneath you. <clears throat> nope. There's a butter what? chicken. Butter chicken. Butter chicken. Butter chicken. Butter chicken. Butter chicken. Butter chicken. I thought I'd have fun with it. Oh. That is awesome. Dude. Was that your that husband? Awesome. 
Was that your husband? Yep. I like the way you doing that. Hi, hubby. Uh, is Pete coming? Is that <laughs> she's like, that's like she's camera. got butter chicken. That's like that uh, TikTok song, watermelon chicken or something like that. Stupid song. <laughs> that yeah, watermelon no, crawl. <laughs> camera I've shot. done that. I've done watermelon crawl before quite a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Usually with moon, moonshine. Yeah. But um, so the funny story around the show is. I met Howard four years ago at Ballinger, and he was like, hey, would you like to have a show? And I was like, I'm, like, not even a full year into investigating. I don't know anybody to talk to to have a show, so I'm going to have to say no. And he was like, you sure? And I was like, yeah. I just I didn't feel like I was had anything to offer. I was, like, too new. And then I ran into him at Para Unity uh, event, and he's like, "Hey, um, you know, I know you said no to a show, but I think you'd be great." And I was like, "Well, you know what? Maybe now is the time." You talking about Stephen? Yeah, Stephen. Yeah, he said, "How did I say?" Well, I'm not like me. I'm sitting there trying to figure out where the fuck. <laughs> well, you were on the other end of the screen. I was like, I had like. So, okay, so let me back up. So, Howard's on his screen, and I, Kellen was talking to him, and then Steven introduces me, and I, I get, like, maybe, like, two minutes into talking to Howard, and somebody comes up and's like, I need to know where this is. So, I had to leave to show him where something was, and when I came back, Stephen was breaking everything down, and I go, man, I was robbed in my 15 minutes, and he goes, don't worry, we'll get you back. <laughs> yeah, that's we when I was here. That's when y'all was doing, yeah, I was uh, hosting it. Yeah. <laughs> and Mineral Wells. Hey, Harry. Yeah, so I was like, I was, was robbed fun. of my time on Howard's show to be live. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was fun times. I love that. that. I love doing that. I and that was a good show. I mean, I really enjoyed walking and watching all that stuff that they that they, they have yeah. there. I'm gonna have to make a trip there one day. One day. When I become rich and Alan, famous. You don't. <laughs> that actually was my dog. That ain't my dog. My dog was quiet. Ain't no better. Oh, I tell you dog was humping something. Looks like it's humping the, um, yeah, it's humping something. She's right. <laughs> That tail is going 90 miles an hour back there. She's like, look, yeah. Well, he's really. So, um, exploring our secret past is it's a mixture of paranormal and just some history of places and some things that are of interest. And one of the things that I'm working towards doing is like, when I come across topics like, you know, they found giants in Nevada. So I'm like, hey, you know, look into that and, you know, see if that's something I can do a show around. A giant what? Giant person, like seven, eight feet tall, some skeletal. That's a big foot. And so uh -huh. I was like, so that's why I say exploring the <laughs> secret path. Like the Smithsonian, if they come in, they're going to take the skeletons away and bury them. Nobody will ever see them again. And so right. I'm like, yeah, I, I want to bring awareness back to these stories that we had. And when people go to locations like Fort Walters, you know, there's a history that goes beyond just Vietnam with helicopters. In World War II, there's the Indians. And so I'm like, that's why I call it exploring our secret past is because, yeah, we're going to haunted places, but I also want to bring in like stuff about the place that people may not realize and have forgotten. And so I'm like, yeah, I want to kind of revitalize the interest in the history of places. That's pretty awesome because you're talking about, awesome. you know, Nevada and the giant. Um the old my old podcast I was on, we actually was talking about conspiracy theories and stuff like that at one time. And um some special forces, uh there was like 
several witnesses uh, over in Afghanistan, Kandahar area, uh, encountered a giant being and was in a fight with them and stuff. And they still, to this day, swear up and down that they ran into a person of giant stature. And even more so, Scotty, I was told that there were some regular soldiers that came upon a special forces unit and all their guns were pointed up towards the sky and they said what are you doing they said we're under orders because our target's up there yours is straight ahead and they're like what are you hunting giants and they just said we can't talk about it yeah but it was like yeah Yeah. (laughs) they were hunting the giants isn't that crazy like I mean, there's, a how, show, there's, there's a show that it's, it, there's two twin brothers, and they both do granite work. And, you know, they, they masonry. They, they, they do masonry work. And I've seen them. I don't know if it was on Discovery or if it was on Travel Channel. But they had a show about trying to find giants, about the double rows of teeth that they have in their mouth and everything right. else. So, I mean, that was a pretty good uh program i don't know if you might want to look it up i can't think of the damn brother's name though but they're identical twin brothers okay hmm. yeah, that. right now the only twin brothers i'm thinking of that are would have a chisel and working in construction are uh the property brothers <laughs> <laughs> but i don't see them going no. <laughs> to giants no <laughs> Uh, Jonathan and noses. Drew, that's their names. <laughs> yeah, that's their noses. They're giant noses, but that's about it. No, oh, but yeah, God. I mean, it's like I come across like all these tales of like. So there's giants in Texas? I think that there were. We, uh. Um, Facebook? That's you. What? Sorry. Who's Facebook user? Sorry, I'm just looking at comments. That's you. Oh. I'm looking at it right now. It's Nikki. Nikki Cameron. Sorry, no, people I'm... doing the air con. Mm-mm. This one here. That's Nikki. Me. That's you. <laughs> you just posted that. I just I just seen it. <laughs> but uh I told you I've had coffee. Now what's up, fellas? I I know you guys aren't see me. Okay. I can see about this much of you. <laughs> Yeah, you're like really close to the camera. Me. <laughs> yep. But um, Howard, one story of t- in Texas that would uh, really get your attention is in Glenrose. There's a, par- a state park, Dinosaur Valley, and they have footprints in stone from the dinosaurs. Well, they have a dinosaur print right next to a human print casted in stone. How, how, if humans and dinos didn't live together, do you get embedded on the same strata of stone a footprint from one of each? That's what's boggling science right now is, wait a minute, how can we have a human footprint clearly marked Right, standing right next to a dino print. That's to bring in ancient aliens. Yeah. But, I mean, that was, I seen that in the 80s when I was a little little youngin. And so I'm like, that was before ancient aliens time. So they wouldn't be right. sitting there going out there going, let's chisel out a little footprint to bring ancient aliens here. <laughs> well, you know, you How did... it's disappeared. Um, Michael Scott. <laughs> Who's disappeared? Scotty just came in, but everyone's still here. Nikki. Yeah, we're all good. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, my screen just went weird. Everyone went black. Are you Can sure? Are you chicken? sure? You, <laughs> you, yeah, you sure you'd be calling you butter chicken? <laughs> <laughs> you sure that's butter you're using with that chicken? <laughs> It's a leafy green it, substance like rosemary. I can't believe mm-hmm. it's not butter. No. It's hardly flakes. But, you know, they're mm-hmm. still claiming, like, with all the technology, you know, we can go really deep in the ocean and now. And they're saying that people think there's still a megalodon in the ocean. 
Yeah. Now, where that's true or not, that's I don't know, crazy. but. Oh, that's it. That's it. That, you know, that's that's it? crazy. One second. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this. What are you doing? Just boot Nikki. Uh, no, not me. Oh. <laughs> I didn't boot oh, Nikki. Like, that's, that's, that's Nikki. I mean, I don't know what they <laughs> So, Tim, she, I, I have heard of the giant skeletons in Minnesota. And. I wasn't aware of the Book of Job speaking about humans and dinos living together. I'll have to go check that out, but yeah. Hey, Corey. Sorry. Hey, Corey. Hey, brother. Woo -woo. Sorry. We're good. <laughs> so, yeah, and so that's kind of the goal of mine is to slowly, you know, like establish, get the show established and then take it to the secret side where people won't be automatically going oh this guy's a conspiracy nut and go oh wait he's an investigator paranormal <laughs> investigator it, so let's listen to what he has to say there might be some validity to this instead of dismissing it right off the bat even though i mean yeah people will say conspiracy theorists and stuff but even then i mean Man, there's such so many great topics out there to cover, you know, oh, yeah. and it's just, yeah. Uh, Tim Cole, I think, is a huge, him and his wife, uh, Crystal, are huge uh, conspiracy theories. They love, I don't want to say they are, but they love everything about that. I mean, yeah. they're, good they're both they're amazing. Great researchers. They're, they are, researchers. they're by far the best researchers I've ever known. Yeah, I think Tim would probably agree with me that the greatest wisdom I was ever told is in every conspiracy theory, there is at least one or two grains of truth to it. Yep. And so if you can find those, then you'll figure out what's really going on. You see, well, I, I'm, I'm a big, I believe in the conspiracy theories too, but I mean, there's one that they talking about the Bermuda Triangle. I'm a big Bermuda Triangle nut. I love the Bermuda Triangle, anything about it. And they've been saying it's been off the, the coast of Miami, you know, with right. a purple. Now they actually pushed it back into the Gulf of Mexico. I haven't so heard now, that. Oh, yeah, it's extended into the Gulf of Mexico now. Huh. I'll have to check that out. I've been focusing more on the Alaska Triangle lately. Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. That's better. But I, I, like that and pirates. I mean, I want to see if there's any kind of correlation with, with, with like pirate ships in the Bermuda Triangle. Nick, he's gonna yeah, of course, you had Christopher Columbus, and they, they <laughs> said, well, he's even got a document where they he saw UFOs in the Bermuda, you know, when he was coming over to the Americas. Right. But, but that that's another well, part of the conspiracy. What is it? Uh, in the, uh, in the Bermuda Triangle, is it UFOs? Is it methane gas that's, that's coming up out of the ground? Is it is right. it uh, 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 portals? Or, you know, is yeah. just different things that that, and that's where I just I lose my shit. I love that stuff, man. You know? Yeah, because the interesting thing is when you have when you're looking at like Christopher Columbus's age when they were discovering stuff, their closest thing to a flying ship was a ship sailing on the water. So right. anytime they said there's a UFO, it literally was an identified flying object. Yep. It's like it was the truest sense, so it would be the truest report, because how would they know to explain a craft hovering in the sky when they have no concept of hovering anything? <laughs> yeah, that that would be absolutely amazing. You know, and I, I like to be near the triangle, especially about the uh, World War II uh squadron planes that oh, just that disappeared just disappeared out of nowhere yeah my other favorite story actually i think was the guy in the 80s who went and he has a ticket that showed he filled up his gas tank and then he flew and apparently went into a tunnel and like an hour and a half or two hours went by and he was already in miami <laughs> And he's like, here's my ticket. You can see this proof. And yet, here's how many miles I traveled. But here's the amount of fuel used. Damn. And can't explain because it doesn't all line up. <laughs> how do I not know this? Because I'm an 80s child. How do I not know this? 
You just didn't watch the right conspiracy shows. Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to research that. You know, it's a, that's like watching BB Cooper. Actually, you know, <laughs> do you watch like Josh Gates? Right Gates? Say what? Do you watch Josh Gates? No, I don't watch a whole lot yes, of TV because I, I live out in the country. Country. <laughs> so <laughs> if you come up on my property, you're gonna hear. Ding, 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 you know, so. Well, yeah. you live in a country country. Now, let me ask you this. Since you live in a country country, does your wife yell at you? Shit, Scotty, yeah. Scotty, get out of that potato patch. You know you got holes yeah. in your drawers and the potato got eyes. <laughs> and she said, yeah, she does. She'd be like, why are you peeing outside? Because I can. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to see me. I do that now. I told that to Michael earlier. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I go on my front porch. I piss right off my... People buy pass by, I wave. Dude, I like I, wave I with can my get free hand. drunk. I was gonna I say, mean, make sure you use the right hand to wave, Howard. I mean, you can ask Tim Tim Kohler. I mean, I can get drunk and run around butt naked in my yard and not worry about one damn person seeing me. No? Yeah? That's what I like. Yeah, I'm thinking Nikki you went want. too far outside from her Wi-Fi range. <laughs> She's yeah, down she down. went down under. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki even Howard wrote down nothing. under. <laughs> mm, shit. <clears throat> Watch the black phone, and it was really good. Yeah, like, uh, phone. It's a it's a movie. Uh, my daughter Jenna watched that, and she said it was really good. So where's that on? What is that on? Uh, is it on Netflix? I Netflix? think you can get on Amazon Prime and rent. Rent it because it's a new movie. Okay. Unless you have a like a fire sticker or something, you know, something like that, a little something, something. We can watch it kind of free. Yeah. We can so. watch it kind of free. <laughs> 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 and you know how to pirate it. <laughs> you know, if you can jailbreak stuff like that, like I can't because yeah, I'm just retarded at times. But yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say, Howard, I find it really interesting. My little water bottle here, this whole episode. Oh, Bye, he did it. <laughs> Michael did it this time. I see that. It's on Peacock also. Okay, great. Great. Okay, thank you, Cheyenne. You rock. I've been going back and watching um, Project Blue Book. Used to be on a History Channel. Yeah. What is that for people that don't know what that is? Project Blue Book. <clears throat> it's yeah, a show well, that's actually based on a. Uh, there he is. It's actually My based bad. on a. It's actually based on a uh, back. Uh, uh, I believe it was in the sixties, fifties uh, and I don't want to say sixties. Uh, they had a thing where it was called Project Blue Book where. There, there was a, the government of the, of the United States government was trying to yeah. debunk UFOs. Yeah, it was okay. the late yeah. 40s, middle 50s. Right. It was right yeah. after Roswell. Yeah. It was right after Roswell. Well, it's okay. a TV show. It's called Project Blue Book, and it came on the History Channel. So if you oh, have yeah. like uh, Roku or something like that, you can type in Project Blue Book, and uh, you it's can watch the, the History series. It's on Channel right now. Right. Uh, awesome. But that's what cool. that's what's a uh, History Channel exclusive. See, right on. Note to self, remember when you have a touch screen. <laughs> yeah, I do that too. Screen, like... and when I went to move it, it uh, closed the I window. I do that. I do that a lot, Michael. Um, I'll, I'll go you. to touch something, kick myself out. Yeah, I do that a lot. It's on a road but trip. I was going to say, my night. water bottle Very here cute. has been gurgling quite a lot, and I'm not even touching it. Every once in a while, bubble of water will <laughs> bubbles will start coming up. I want you to drink it. <laughs> now, Nikki, you live in Texas, correct? No. No, 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 no. I'm in Australia. You're in Australia? You're in Australia? I'm Australia. in Western Australia. Ooh, shit. Damn. I ain't never coming there. I ain't never coming there either. Fuck them huntman, uh, huntsman spiders. Mm -mm, no way. No. You gotta watch out for the kangaroos, I tell ya. Dude, right? I heard kangaroos are like wicked mean. No, they're pretty cute. I was gonna say they look all soft and cuddly. 
Yeah, they're all so they cute until chicken. they How cook did they you with taste? Them. Are they any good eating? I've heard they taste like chicken, but everything tastes like chicken, so. Bullshit. Not everything tastes like chicken. I'm just saying. You know, <laughs> I, I love the thing I remember most from elementary school when learning about Australia was the water flows reverse from anywhere <laughs> else in Australia. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it goes in reverse to the drainage. Yeah, ours yeah. apparently goes left, right to left, and theirs goes left to right or something. I'm like, yep. I don't know why we studied this or why <laughs> Australians decided to do it backwards. I don't know. Dude, wouldn't that be? I mean, that would be screw you flush it. You're like, what the? What is going on? This is, That's what happened when I'm Australians and looking down in the tunnel. Let me tell you. Right. So what, Look at that. What, <laughs> but what, what's it. weird is if we we see that we're going to be like, hey, why does your stuff go backwards? And they'll be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, I don't I'm know what you're talking about. Like the rest of the world is backwards. We're the ones <laughs> that are doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> what side of the road do you guys drive? Because I think we do the opposite. I drive in the middle. <laughs> I drive on the uh, hold on. right side. Right side. I had to think about it for a second. Okay. Well, the opposite. So you guys drive on the left side? Yep. So oh. you guys drive into traffic. That's nice. Pretty much. Hey, Carl. How you doing, brother? Hey, Carl. So what time is it there now? 9.05 a.m. Shit. What? Tomorrow. See, We're talking to somebody why... in the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nikki, I, I was Chris telling Chris. him how you're going to be on our show and that it's 10 a.m. Oh. the next morning for you <laughs> yeah. on our show. So I was like, i got to start asking her what's in the news so I can get a <laughs> notice to move <laughs> stuff around uh, before <laughs> all hell breaks. Uh, yeah. Should, yeah, should we be worried about tomorrow? <laughs> And the <laughs> no, you're fine. And the lot of numbers too. Well, do me a favor, Nikki. Call call my doctor up to ask him how my prostate screen came out. You too. I got to get one on the night. Good. You're fine, Howard. So so, what's the big headlines for tomorrow? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's changed. Yeah, we were talking about that. Like, wow, we can talk to somebody who's, you know, yeah, it's already the tomorrow. There, that's yeah. futuristic for us. Yeah. So, like, so it's the world like gets in the future, Nick. Yeah, no kid. Because, like, if the world blew up, you would already know about it. <laughs> I'm laughing, um, Howard. If the world blew up, none of us would be talking right now. No, but she would be her first. <laughs> if that happened, it'd be <laughs> right. But hey, if, what's right on your hand? If we're talking to her in the future and she's talking to us in the past. <laughs> Is that a gator? It's my, my daughter has book week ne- this week on Friday. Well, yeah. And she's dressing up as an alligator, crocodile. Uh, yeah, because yeah, those things don't get big down there. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, dress her up as Mick Dundee. <laughs> that ain't a knife. <laughs> this is a knife. <laughs> you know how they say everything's bigger in Texas? Uh, Australia's like, here, hold my fucking beer. Watch this. <laughs> but you got a big spider? No, look at this big spider. Oh, you, you got an alligator and a croc? <laughs> Let me show you something. That's, that's not to get the fucking snakes. Scotty, you saying, in other yeah. words, don't go into the bathroom behind an Australian. Dude, just don't go to Australia. I mean, <laughs> you'd be fine. Like, I, I don't get me wrong, I love Australia. Women are, yeah. Woo-hoo. but yeah, no, I ain't going over no. there. Nope. Don't like spiders. Uh, Scotty, if, if you're going to go to Australia, find an Aborigine to get friends with because they'll survive through everything. Yeah. Valid <laughs> point. You'll be fine. Valid point. <laughs> So you have an Aborigine living in your house, Nikki? No. <laughs> no you're back you're too far uh, west for Aborigines, aren't you? Um, we've got some locals and stuff like that, but not um the leaders. No. They all have the same features, though. You've ever noticed that you look at an Aborigine 
and and mm. they all have the same the flat mm. noses. They all got they almost look all like they all related. Mm. Don't yeah. they? Well, they're all painted up, so she's like, I don't know. Don't know. Most of them are pretty nice. I'm not. I'm not trying to be racist yeah. or nothing. But no, I'm just saying that they all look like they, they could be related. Yeah, they look like they're, the same. They're all painted up, so that, that's so probably why. Where in Australia do you live? So I'm in Perth. Um, is my hometown, but I live 45 minutes out of Perth. Okay, so is that by Sydney, or is that more like Queensland? No, you're on the other, other side. Of the side. Country. Other side of okay. the country. Okay. And see, that's yeah. the other thing. I'm the Africa. The, yeah, she's in a low rent district. <laughs> okay. Australia is also a continent, so she has the yep. glory of not only living on an island that's its own country, but it's also its own continent. <laughs> yeah. I know, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> only if you get uh, one taken by sea, you're kind of screwed. Yeah, if memory serves right, isn't it the eastern Australia is Sydney and Melbourne? Yes, and that's more the British side. And then yep. the central is Aboriginal, and mm -hmm. western is pretty much everybody else who decided to flee yeah. from the east. Pretty much. <laughs> See, history oh, comes in handy, people. Yeah, well, actually, it was past. a penal Australia was a penal colony. I know that's. It wasn't yeah. Australian or English. You got to yeah, love the English, you know, ship everybody right. to an island far, far away. Yeah. And I got it together, Ricky. I just seen Ricky's comment. Get yep. together. I got it together, Ricky. So I'm looking at comments. Yeah, here. Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now listen. <laughs> hey, Ricky. Uh. So here's an interesting question since, you know, technically you would be what we call Down Under. Is mm -hmm. that song from the 80s, Down Under, from Men at Work, <laughs> actually kind of accurate or is it like way out in left field? <laughs> it's kind of dived out a bit. I still love that song. I know. Yeah. That was a great song. Give me a Vegemite. I'm sorry, Irene. Yep, that was a great song. Hi, Irene. I hope you, you get feeling like better. Irene. Veggie Smite sandwiches, yeah. As Australian, I don't like them, but... Veggie Mite? I don't yeah. Think anybody does. I've never tried it, but I would... No, I don't think I would. Yeah. I mean, isn't it like a pasty-looking... No. The word Veggie in the front, that turns me yeah. off right off the bat. I'm like, nope. <laughs> That's why down here we have pottered meat. Yeah. Like Vienna sausages and shit like Vienna that. Vienna sausages. Oh, That's the caviar of the, 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 of the, the spam sauce. of the future. Spam. <laughs> Freaking oh, spam is amazing. Yeah, no thanks. You can keep spam. You. I'm with you, Nikki. No to spam. <laughs> yeah, no, no to spam. spam? Oh, you got to have spam. I'm oh. fry it. Not, no, 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 no. No, you just cut it up and you fry it. Man, cut it up, spam fry it. Up. Yeah. yeah. Just Eat it with bacon. eggs. Mm. <laughs> Hamburgers are pretty Just good. Just liver like instead. You'll be fine. I like liver. <laughs> yeah, liver you lost onion? me at liver. I love no, it. I was on your side until no. you said liver. <laughs> no, I ain't no liver. Nope. nope. Liver. I love nope. liver. No, 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 no. Liver and onions. Oh, hell yeah. No Fried way. Gravy. Oh, Fried liver. Mm -mm. Fried yeah. gizzards. My parents... My parents used to make me eat liver, and I now I'm an adult. I'm like, ain't nobody making me eat liver. Now, if my dad was still alive, he would, and I would eat it because I ain't stupid. I eat liver all the time. I love liver. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hold on, Scott. Wait a minute. So you would eat it with your dad. Because you're not stupid. So what does that mean yeah. when you're not eating it? Because he's no longer here. Listen. All right. So one night, one day, we're all sitting at the table eating, right? And my brother, Chad, hates liver and onions. Worse than anybody. Okay? And he's sitting, like, I'm sitting next to him, and he's sitting next to my dad. Okay? And my dad's like, we're having liver and onions. Chad's like, I'm not eating. Dad says, you are going to eat, and you're going to eat it. You know, this is just how it was back in the 80s. And uh, so my brother took a bite and spit it out, and my dad backhanded him back. And I'm yeah. like, I'm eating this shit. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and come to find guy. out. Yeah, yeah, right. But it was only brown steak or whatever. So that's why I said if my dad was alive and he, I was over there and he's like, we're eating lemon onions, I'd be like, oh, yep, we eating because I ain't get fucking back in. Nope. Yeah, no. Nope. I the same thing when my dad would fry chicken. I had a chicken leg. Yeah. I was about fucking five or six years old and I had a piece of fried chicken in my plate. And my oh, dad said, yeah. look at that. So, of course, five or six years old and your dad said, look at that. You're going to turn around and look. I look back. It was a big piece of my chicken missing. He didn't bake that sucker. He ate it. He was just trying to be funny. And I pushed his shit to this. I ain't eating that. And my dad said to grab that chicken and he shoved it in my face like that. Oh my God. My mom was pulling chicken out of my nose for hours. Yeah. Yeah. So he officially got turkey slapped. Turkey slap. You got bitch smacked by a turkey. I got McBitch slapped. <laughs> but oh, you know, but that's, that's how it was back then. You know, uh, yeah. I mean, not not for everybody, but you know, like even now, I, I mean, no, my, now I'm not like that. Generation today, I mean, yeah, no, they don't I know what it, it is. <laughs> my parents would, if I didn't like something, I wouldn't need it. And they're like, think of the starving people. My answer was, ship it to them. Right. <laughs> Right. My mom, my mom cooked and she put it on the table. And if you didn't eat it, that's that's your shit. You didn't eat that night. Yeah. Mm, and it's, it's, yeah. it's not like that now. Like I love French toast. My wife does. My son does. However, Jenna, my daughter, does not. So if we eat French toast, she'll find something else to eat. Like, yeah. and I look at her, I'll be like, "Well, fuck, you ain't American. How do you not like French toast?" <laughs> We don't call it French toast down here because we're French. I mean, lost we, call French it, toast. we call it lost bread. Did you say what's French toast? Yeah. So all you do is take a piece of bread. Mm-hmm. Okay. You, you get your eggs, egg. Batter it in egg eggs, wise. and you just, yeah. Fry it up. Fry it up. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Just some eggs. Yeah. Some, it's, you're Cover making it a wash. with maple syrup or oh, put okay. some fruit yeah. compote powdered or oh, nice. powdered sugar on it. Yep. But you make sure you put like cinnamon and vanilla extract vanilla. in with your eggs, so it okay, gives yeah. it better flavor. So, oh. and I'll oh. use and nutmeg if you as get well. Fancy, fancy! You can put chocolate chips in it. Chocolate chips or, or bacon pieces. Ooh, now you're talking. Interesting. <laughs> I lost her on chocolate, but I got her back with bacon. <laughs> Stop reading the face. <laughs> Mickey's face is like chocolate. Oh. oh. Bacon, bacon oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm, good. Bacon. <laughs> I'm half German, so you gotta love it. Right. So, yep, Jennifer, you... vanilla and cinnamon. That's the key. That's it. Vanilla and cinnamon. Yep, Jennifer knows. Yep. Absolutely. You want it, with your eggs, with your eggs, you want to put milk in it. Put a little yep. bit of milk. Yep, low milk. It, it makes the scrambled this. eggs extra fluffy. Now, I believe. I'm gonna try this I, next week. All right. I Why believe until in, next week. I believe I believe in love and 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 the love between of course there's the love between a man and a woman. I like and, where you're going. That, that, with there's, this there's love between a man and a woman, there's love between two men, there's love between two women, there's love between a Both group of shape. people. I don't know. It's a, <laughs> but I am not one to say I don't bring love together when it comes from a man. To a leg. So, with that further ado, I bring in Mr. Tim the Rare Ball that Sasquatch. Oh, himself. God. <laughs> Good Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> you just Bye. had to do that to I'm me. Just kidding. That's <laughs> you, you, I, I don't care about your leg. You get humped tomorrow, bro. <laughs> I am going to. I'm going to. I'm going to F that leg up, bro. <laughs> so let's try to do it on the left. That's for you, Cheyenne. What do you have against your three cousins from Australia? Grandma had an uncle. Oh, okay. Nikki's one of them, probably. Nikki, you cousin. <laughs> yeah. You never know. I, I'm adopted, so could be related. I love D to death. D, uh, their family is uh, they're native, so yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good people. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, I love them. 
but I, I, like I said, I'm not going to be one that comes between a man and a leg. I'm just you better not be, because you know, clap a, a, a leg. Fuck around, find out. Okay. Scotty, Scotty up there, he likes to he likes to hump my leg every time we get near. So we live in the same town. Yeah, it's, go, it's, go. It's, it's like how we uh. What do you want to say that? It's, it's brotherly love. I thought it was like love. a weird handshake scene going on or something. Yeah, it's, it's like, exact, when, yeah. It's like yeah. when two dogs meet and they sniff each other's butt. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just know. a weird handshake between a tall guy well, and a midget. <laughs> there, here's, here's the irony of it, okay? Scott is, here, here's the irony of it. Scott's 5'1 and I'm 6'3. So he like barely comes up to like my underarm pit. <laughs> this is it looks like a chihuahua humping a Rottweiler. Very true. <laughs> no, I would say more like a giraffe or something. Maybe a St. Bernard. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you have TikTok, go to Scott's TikToks. So you probably see it on TikTok. Right. Actually, it's on Crystal's TikTok. Yeah, it's on my wife's TikTok. All right. We can always have her post it in one of those chats. She's laying down right now. She's not feeling good again. Thanks, man. You got a family history like my family, in a way. Who's dog? That's got to be Max. It is. Max, shut the hell up. Max. Yeah, uh, Crystal's TikTok is Mama A C. Yeah, M O N M A C. I think it's just Mama C. Is oh, it? Okay. Mama C. Mama C. <laughs> okay, That's Mama C. Your... Yes. Now, the reason why I brought Tim in, another big reason, is because we were talking about conspiracy theories. And yep. Tim is the he's a, the expert in conspiracy theories. He's an expert in Vlad the Impaler. He's If you want to never want to know, know anything about Vlad the Impaler, you go see Tim. Give me one second. Well, uh, he, yeah, if you ever... I, I'm, I, I know Vlad's history really well. It's more... Well, a lot more than I know history of other things. Give me one minute. Yeah. One minute. You're done. He's going to gonna smack, he's gonna smack the shit out of Max. <laughs> That's a hyper-ass little dog. I ain't lying. That it's dog. Beagle, isn't it? Isn't that a little beagle they had? He, he's like a, I don't, I don't want to say beagle. Because um, so like he's Eddie. more like a mini golden retriever. And every time I go in, he looks at me like he's going to hump me. I know they I'll got tell a, they have, they have a new addition now. And I'll be like, listen, dude, you hump me, I'm humping back. Uh, it's on Max, Max, is is part, <laughs> Max is part border collie, part greyhound, and all mutt. Wow. Oh, yeah. Cute. I mean, he's a lovable dog. But, so do you use him to ghost hunt? Come here, Max. Come here, Max. He's, he's, a, he's a big baby. He's I'm a big old baby. Oh. I'll be back in a moment. Yeah. All right. That's Max. He whines and cries oh. over every little thing. He does. He's Come a good back. dog, though. Extremely hyper, but good dog. And then this is Snoopy. Yep. Yeah, I can't wait to see him tomorrow, dude. Aw. He's rotten, too. He's oh, wait, a big I'm gonna love be, bug, though. I'm going to be in trouble by Pandora. That's for sure. I can't pick up my, yeah. my beagle like that. That's she weighs about 300 pounds. She's over there laying on the ground now. Paws all stretched out. She can't even. I was going to say, if the beagle's 300 pounds, doesn't its legs kind of stick out to yeah. the side? She's got short legs. I mean, she can't even. She, 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 she don't jump up. She don't jump up. She just kind of just leans into you. Like if she was to come over. Here's the, the one that house, Scott likes. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, Yogi. Yogi, I love that Yogi. I keep telling him, I'm. Hey, wait, I can bring home Yogi home now. You can bring Snoopy home. Ooh, we're trying to find a home for him. Are you? Yeah. Okay, what's sounding like a bird now? 
Oh, he's chewing on his chew toys. <laughs> nice. So, uh, <laughs> Nikki, do you do you do paranormal investigating in Australia? Uh, no, I don't. But I do um, watch you guys online, and I help out now and then. Right on. But you do you do co-host with Michael, correct? Is that correct? No. no. I'm be Carla's my co-host. No. Say what? Michael, you go. I was just like, Carla is my co-host. Okay. Well, I'm I didn't just, that earlier, I, Scott. Mother, I am confused. I am old, and I get confused easily. <laughs> it's a, well, Nikki's a psychic in her own right. I mean, she sees yeah. things and stuff oh, like that. Oh, don't look at my stuff, please. It's all right. <laughs> She's like, it's too late. <laughs> you fucked up. I, you fucked up. <laughs> No, we know she hasn't looked, Scott, because her eyes haven't started burning yet. <laughs> right. She's going to go, oh, no, he didn't. Right? Um, oh, my he God. He did not say that. <laughs> Stripper pole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> if you see a stripper pole in his future, we don't want to know. <laughs> I'll wait till you. There you go, Howard. Aw. Aw. What is that? That's Maddie's oh. baby. Yeah, it's the baby. That. That's Grandpa, wow. Papa. He's proud to look at him. Papa. Yes. It's one or two. I'm gonna be Pappy Tater. They said they were gonna. Every my niece and nephew call me Timothy Potato, and they call my wife Crystal Pickle. <laughs> She's gonna kill you for that one. And She's gonna kill you now. So my daughter said that she that the grandbaby has to call her Nana Nana Pickle. Oh, I love that. So I've got a. So she's like, "Well, you're going to be Grandpa Potato," and I said, "Nope, I'll be Pappy Tater." <laughs> there you go. There you go, okay. Nikki. Crystal popped in to say just one. Oh, okay. Awesome. Is anyone else expecting a child or two? I am. I'm expecting an elephant. You want to see his, you want to see his trunk? <laughs> no, thank you, Howard. Scott is expecting a grandbaby in October. We just had one. In May. June, we had one in June. Oh, yep, I remember. I want to hook up to the computer. But this is going weird. You know, the funny thing is, is Nikki, last time I remember seeing you on a screen, you were falling out of your chair leaning back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, memories. <laughs> memories, memories. So every memories. time I see the camera move, I'm thinking, is this a replay? <laughs> no, we're good. <laughs> Let me ask you something. When you see stuff when, you, when you're psychic down there, is the shit going yeah. backwards? <laughs> no, how it doesn't work like that, love. No, it doesn't work that way. I'm just wondering. Uh, Everything else is backwards. I'm just wondering. <laughs> I, I don't uh, think the second world works that way, Howard. Go no. that way. We're in Australia. We got to go the other way. <laughs> it's a legitimate question. I don't know. Although that would be interesting. If, so in America, if it's called possession, is it in Australia a depossession? <laughs> possession is nonsense of the law, right? <laughs> Deep no, I mean, it's I like the opposite. That. So, if we're talking about someone being possessed in Australia, then they're no longer being possessed. It's the opposite. Oh, God. Nikki, there's a great comedian here in the U.S. that talks about different Olympic sports that would never fly in the Olympics. Yep. And he talks about bull riding. Mm hmm. And his segment on the Australian team doing bull riding is absolutely hilarious. He's like, the Australians would be the only other country willing to do it. See, Austra yeah, Australia yeah. would be the only other country willing to do the bull riding. And he's like, we're going to play by Australian rules. He rides me for eight seconds. I got to ride, or I got to ride him for eight <laughs> seconds. He's got to ride me for nine. <laughs> Jenny, you're, I think you are here. No, she was trying to find where we were at. Where she couldn't find us. Oh. Yeah, I just swapped from phone to computer. 
I'm just seeing some of the uh, some of the comments from earlier. So, so Michael, how did you get into the paranormal? Um, I kind of was born into it, and kind of was like I've had shadow people around me all the time, and I just mm -hmm. kind of was like I kind of grew up with it, and so I don't I really couldn't tell you what got me into it. It just kind of seems mm -hmm. like it's always been. Oh, awesome. Sorry, I had to let my dogs out. I'm one of those. Let the dogs out. <laughs> Scott did. Scott did. I did. <laughs> no, uh, I, I got I into it because I'm a, I'm a huge history buff and huge history. I like doing the research and I like helping other people. So I'm like, I'm like really into residentials and yeah, stuff like know. that. Yeah. Simply because of that reason, because you know just helping families feel comfortable in their home but then yeah. i love the history behind some of the buildings i've got to go to and love doing the research and finding out different things and and having experiences too that match historically yeah to what has happened in the building love you yeah. too ricky that's great i love that that's great what about you scott i i love uh, as far as paranormal, I'm like Tim. I love the history behind everything. Um, Tim's a great researcher, so um, he is a valuable asset when it comes to being on the team. And so is Chris. So um, yeah. but I love the paranormal. I've been in about 15 years. Um, I am what oh, they wow. call, I am a believer, but I'm a skeptic. So I'm a skeptic believer, which means um, I believe in the paranormal. But for me, I really have to uh, experience it for me to really kind of believe in it, if that makes sense. So for me, it's more about personal experiences, especially now. When I first started, um, yeah. you know, cats just came out, okay? So go ghost hunters just came out. So And that's what everybody wanted to be like, you know? You wanted to be like ghost hunters. And so doing that was fun but it was hard because you had to literally try to put your name out to even go do residentials you know the, all these big places really weren't out by then so as a, as time went you know all these big places uh started opening up but i'd be tired for a while i'm like you know what i'm done uh because I, I to me it was like running a business and i lost all enjoyment out of it so, and then my buddy, Jeremy York, talked me into coming back in, which I did. And then Tim and Crystal came on and it was fun, you know, but then this year, you know, I started yeah. having some health problems, stepped away from it again. And uh, my oldest, my, my youngest son, Aiden, who also investigates, he's like, dad, we should just get back on own team. <clears throat> and since he's a senior in high school, I'm like, you know what? You're right, dude. So I brought my old team back out of retirement. Uh, but now it's just, it's besides uh, my buddy, Chris Daniel, who is my mentor, who took me under his wing to teach me paranormal. Uh, besides Chris and myself, it's my kids, Matthew, Devin, Aiden, and my youngest daughter, Jenna, so. Uh, awesome. What about you, Howard? How long have you been a paranormal investigator, Howard? I oh, know I was just sitting there messing we with you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking over. Sorry, guys. I've been in the paranormal field uh, on and off for over 30 years. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, for a time I was out, I was with, working with MUFON. Then I went ahead and, and uh, got back into the paranormal field. What got me into it was an experience I had when I was a, a small one, about five years old. And I uh, see my great grandfather appear in front of me. Oh wow! And uh, Sorry. and uh, well, not really scared the shit out of me. And then, uh, <laughs> and, uh, the only thing my my mom, I mean, I ran to my parents' room, and my yeah. mom reassured me that uh, he's just coming to you because he was asking for prayers. So, oh cool! I prayed my little ass off that night. He wouldn't come back. <laughs> You <laughs> <laughs> Freddy, go ask somebody else for help. And ever since then, I've been in it. I've been stuck to it. 
Oh, cool. Awesome. I think I think a lot of us do it just because we love. For me, I I like the science behind it as well. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you know, like doing actual scientific research is is always been something I I love doing. Um, being very, uh, I've always had that kind of scientific and mechanical mind. Yeah. So you know, going into people's homes and stuff, I'm always <laughs> looking for mechanical things and construction things, things like that that could be causing the noises they're hearing or causing the things they're having before I look at So hey, Crystal, Crystal's okay? Crystal's in the bedroom, so oh, that wasn't her. And that was I'm, like, I'm like Tim, uh, I like science too, but uh, when me and Tim get together, uh, we we Tim and I will go up and down that whole house to debunk anything and everything that we can, right? You know, and to me that's important. I want my kids to learn that as well. Uh, going into a place, I want them, I want them to debunk, try to debunk stuff before actually. Aiden's saying this quite or good that. at it. And Aiden's Aiden, quite yeah, good Aiden, at it. Aiden's really good at it. <coughs> and to me, that's important because of the way TV shows are. You know this younger generation they're watching all these tv shows you know like ghost adventures and this and that and everything is demonic or paranormal well this is the real world not everything is demonic and you're not always going to have paranormal activity it's just the way it goes exactly yeah so yeah, like, i was talking about if, last if you watch the first two show. seasons of ghost hunters they really they really say a lot that you know 80 to 90 yeah. percent of homes can be developed. open it yeah and everything's demonic yeah 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 i don't i don't buy into that myself i i've uh my dad was a minister i studied uh, christian ministries for a while i'm a pokemon nerd it's a growl of <laughs> oh, I like it. It's cool. He is. Him and my son are friends on Pokemon Go. Yeah, that's funny. Really? But, uh, Tim, you probably will agree with this. Is when I was talking about last night, different paranormal shows. Are you kidding Ghost me? Ghost Hunters, when it first came out, you had the investigation after the setup that's good. and gathering the claims. Then you had the evidence review <laughs> and the big reveal. Can I see? <laughs> then in the later seasons and the new show, they got rid of the evidence review. So everybody assumes it's investigate, reveal. And so they make it look like it's a one-day affair. Right? <laughs> they'll, they'll spend a week just to get something for an hour show. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah but absolutely. it's like... <laughs> Because it was funny is I tell people all the time, um, Carl and I, we were on the Jefferson Ghost Walk, and we told Jody that runs it, yeah, we're paranormal investigators. So at one point, I break away from the group to take a picture of this house just because I thought it looked cool. And this guy walks up to me and goes, what'd you get? And oh, wow. in my head, I was like, yeah. My phone tells me I got a ghost here, an orb there, and a shadow here. I, I was like, but I didn't say that. I was like, what I actually ended up saying was, I got to take and put it on a computer to review it before I can tell you that. <clears throat> oh. Mm -hmm. I was like, yep. I don't see, I don't, I don't like to say anything in front of a client <laughs> other than explaining yeah. what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Right. But yep. I think that's the detriment of the paranormal shows now. Is people mm -hmm. look at us and they assume everything is gathered right away and we know instantly yep. what we have because yep. that's what the TV shows. Well, when you do it in residential, that's what they want. They want to know right then and there what's going on. Yeah. So the only thing you can do is give them yeah. an idea. <laughs> We're not 100% right. sure. We're not, but you know, we believe and until we look at the evidence. Here <laughs> Not mine this time. And I, I, someone's I, dog's happy to see me. And I think a lot of these places yeah. really want teams to come in and say, "Yeah, this place is haunted." Because guess what? If you get multiple teams coming in saying it's haunted, guess what? Hey, we got a haunted house. So now we can charge this much for people yeah. coming and investigate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, it, it's all it's all about the money now. 
you know? Yeah. Which it shouldn't be, so. I, I have to say I agree with Jenny in that I've taken a break from the paranormal, but it just will always suck you back in. It does. It really does. <laughs> it's the one <clears throat> field you never can leave. It always no. will pull you back. Yeah, so if you're new to this and you're new to the paranormal field, be prepared. Be prepared. Yeah, and it's very, it's a very, very, very expensive hobby. Yeah, by far, absolutely, dude. And take hey, time. You should go up and get your death whistle and bring it down. Although, in all honesty, the other thing, Howard, I think that's a piece of advice for new paranormal investigators: be comfortable talking to thin air. <laughs> Yes. All by yourself, because if they're going to get self-conscious about that, you can't be a paranormal investigator, because that's like three quarters of what we do is sit there. Sitting in the dark. And talk talking in the dark. The yep. air, asking questions mm. of thin air. Mm. <laughs> Are you here? You, yeah, you just most scariest place that you can possibly imagine. And they, you know, you're stuck in a closet. And you just sit there asking questions. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. If you have a phobia about darkness, closed-in places, then this don't, is not... Don't get in. Don't get yeah. in. Yeah. So, yeah, you like, my son's death whistle real fast. Being, being touched on for it, me, Scott kind of does this. I'm not really afraid of anything. So, oh, that one's oh, cool. This is a gorilla. Yeah. It's a monkey. Yeah, it looks like a gorilla. Um, it is a monkey head. It is a monkey head, he said. And I'll have him blow it, whistle for you guys. So do your thing. Did you guys hear that? It's yeah. like me having some gas. It's yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. And it it's didn't like howl. A, I thought it howls. It, I guess it depends on how you do it. So I don't that know. That just sounded creepy, whoever just did that. I yeah, that was that. yeah, that was my son Aiden. So he's seventeen and he has his own. He bought it off of Amazon. Oh, cool. Or Etsy. Etsy. So people who who don't know what a death whistle is, Scotty, explain what the death whistle is. I have no oh, idea. Yeah. <laughs> you just got you just blowing it, huh? I just running one. <laughs> what? So this so, is, a, they're called an Aztec death whistle. And so the legend goes, if you blew the whistle, it would keep the spirits away and keep the demons at bay. It was a sound that would horrify the demons, so it would keep them at bay. Oh, yeah, there you go. Well, don't look at me like that. Yeah, yeah I bought it. I don't know the fuck it does. I don't give a <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that looks cool. I don't think the Aztecs were cool. the only ones who used it. I think the Mayans had something similar to that as well. Whoa. Yeah. So if that's the sound that it makes when you have a death whistle, then nobody's coming around my fucking house. Because when I get on the toilet, that's the same exact <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's an that's an air tunnel. It's a, like a, a whistle as soon as it's coming saying, out. Speak, speaking of that, Howard, Crystal was supposed to send you a video a couple days ago of a CO2 powered air plunger. Dude, I need one of those. It's a plunger. It goes down in the yeah. toilet and it's got CO2 cartridge in it. And you push the button and it jet shoots everything down in there. Dude, that is awesome. Um, okay. So if you don't know in the water department, that's actually how they do a lot of their cleaning, you know, besides. <laughs> Using a uh, extreme back and uh, what they call vector and sucking up most of the stuff they need to. They have this really long hose and they blast that water through pipes to remove, get it unclogged. Yeah, Stop. steam jet, all kinds of stuff. Oh, I I was just laughing because I was thinking of the old. Oh my god, my dog! I was thinking of the old uh, Mel Brooks movie where he's talk where. It's called History of the World Part One. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. And they're in ancient Rome. Max. I thought you were They're in ancient balls. Rome. And they're <laughs> going past all the street vendors. And the guy goes, plumbing, plumbing. Pipe the shit right out of your house. <laughs> <laughs> and that's in the sense, well, 
<laughs> kind of like uh, what the water department does. Yeah. They really yeah. pipe that shit out of your house. Blow right right the out. other one that's fitting for this moment, Tim. Pipe that shit right out of your house. <laughs> um, <laughs> men in tights. Remember that one where Sounds they like move the jump. house and he walks up. He's like, the house is gone. He goes, I thought it felt a little drafty in here. Jeez. <laughs> Line, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The uh, the immortal Marty Feldman, he was so good at that kind of stuff. Oh, I told man. I told you guys he was a nerd. I love you, Tim. I am a nerd. I openly admit that. I yes, he. I'm I'll a six foot three, six foot three, two hundred fifteen pound nerd. Hi, Irene. Oh, good. Irene's feeling Hi, bad. Jess, Jess from good. Ohio. Awesome. I'm me and Tim's from Indiana, same town actually. Cheyenne was up here. She said Although, something up here. Jeff, I like how you spell your state with an I. <laughs> Cheyenne says, Grandma said like y'all are all lucky to be able mom. to walk away and take a break from the parent from paranormal. Our family isn't able to death whistle. Some mm -hmm. tribes believe it helps others cross over. Cheyenne, you, you sit down there and oh, you yeah. said the same thing. I'm not able to walk away from the paranormal either. So I know exactly where mm -hmm. you're coming from, but sometimes you just have to get out of your Step house. Up. I mean, just yep. And, yep. and just go for a trip or just even if it's down at a grocery store, just to get away from it. Because, I mean, my house is active, very active. So I know yep. exactly yeah, where you're coming from. Yeah. Uh, with Cheyenne and really her funny. grandmother, D. Uh, they're extremely sensitive, so mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And and if I remember correctly, uh, Cheyenne, I'll, maybe you can help me out. But I do believe, like they're they live close to a graveyard. It might be just you know so many yards from their backyard, but I do believe. So you know they Spiritual. get a lot of stuff going on. Yep. Mm -hmm. They don't know boundaries. I mean, that, that's. I mean, Have you got it? Say, say that it's again, good. Nikki. Yeah, Have any of chicken. you guys investigated each other's homes? I've had fellow investigators come here. Uh, okay. Nobody's investigated my <laughs> home but me, I'll be honest, because. Yeah, Same most way. people wouldn't be able to handle my Give home. No, I've had three. I caught the three. best EVP fifteen that I've ever caught in my life, fifteen feet from where I'm sitting. Oh wow! On the other side of the room, behind me, <laughs> right over there. Yeah, but Maybe. but as a, as a paranormal investigator, you're not supposed to investigate your own home. Which I know that. I did, and I did. I mean, you uh, do I it. Did. You yeah. do it anyway. I was but I mean, to. Yeah. but. You, you, My, the evidence could be tainted, so that's what people first thing they're going to say. Oh, the yeah. evidence was tainted. Yeah, you be biased, so yeah. that's why you never investigate your own. My home. My EVP yeah. corrected really. me. It corrected me on the yeah. date. Really? And yeah. I got called a bitch. Mine, Howard. I well, yours is definitely intelligent, Scotty. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, I mean, I got it on the EVP. You can hear it clearly. You yeah. know, call me a bitch. You know, and that's I've the heard thing. It. You know. Yeah. With that was your my, wife. That was your wife. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> You're my bitch. Um, for me to even consider something being an EVP, you know, mm -hmm. for me, I have to di dictate where everybody's at. Uh, can I count for right. where everybody is? And, you know, of course, you have to really take into consideration everybody else's voice. So especially if somebody yeah. whispers, that's why it's always hard for me. Like I always tell people. <laughs> Uh, you know, at least on my team, do not whisper. But if you do, mark it. Say, uh, exactly. that was me. I was I whispered. So that way you can go through and say, okay, well that's somebody. It's not an EVP. So, yeah. When I look, yeah. when I heard that, I could tell where everybody was at, and yeah, uh, we called me a bitch. So I was impressed. But, but yeah, so. I had to say this. But I had to say something with all of us have all one thing in common, though. I mean, we do research. It's all, it's not just when you're researching. It's not researching uh, what happened yesterday. Right. Mm -hmm. You have to. You have yeah. to. Do, you have to right. go back. Yeah. I mean, it's it's yep. and that's what Michael brings to the table. 
with this show, you know, uh, the, the history part. Yeah. And then that's what it is. It's exploring history. And yeah. so if, you, if you're new to the show, to any of these shows, no. that's basically 101. Research, history. That, that You're going to do a lot of research. You're going to do a lot yep. of history. You're yep. going through books and computers and everything just to find out about one location. So that's what, like I said, what's what Michael show is, is basically all about is, is exploring yeah. our secret yeah. past. So, yeah. And when I got introduced to the paranormal field, Can like having people saying, you know, get EVPs and stuff, <clears throat> I always knew because I could feel a lot of spirits coming and going. And I used to say, <laughs> oh, yeah, that corner is Grand Central Station for the other side. <laughs> Everyone's going everywhere. And so someone goes, put your phone in that room, walk to the other room, and just record. Yep. And see what you get. And so when I did that, and I never listened to the files, I sent them to the guy that wanted the files to see if what I was sensing was real or if it was my mind playing tricks on me because it was dark. And he said he was mm -hmm. getting voices like saying, this is the fire chief. This is so and so. He was like, there was like multiple spirits on there. And I was like, yeah, I know. Yeah, you go ahead. So that's why I'm like, when people talk about investigating houses, I'm like, yeah, nobody's investigating my house because I have mm -hmm. a nice harmony with the Grand Central Station. I don't want someone <laughs> coming in yeah. and like yep. pissing them off. Or stuff, yeah. I'm like, great. Now I can't live in my house. Because you came yeah. over. <laughs> yeah, and provoked I, I it and it. pissed it off. Thanks. Well, Cheyenne, <laughs> what, where do you live? Because where's Morgan County? Uh, where they live US in Martins, Martinsville, Indiana. Indiana, okay. Yep. Okay. So I think it's about two hour drive from me and Tim. They said something about Step Cemetery, which is an interesting read. Right. Have y'all been there? I've never been there. No. I haven't either. As far as, as, India, I yeah. as, as far as cemeteries, I've, I've just hit hit the uh, you know the local ones. I've never really been out of town. Yeah. There you go, Cheyenne. For, you got two people, with two Indiana boys right there. I mean, you got Tim and Scott. Yeah, they've been trying to get me for years to go down there. I just really? Don't live there now. <laughs> what part? Hammond. Hammond. Oh, I know where Hammond yep. is. And right on. We're we're, we're near Fort Wayne. Wayne. Yep. Right so, next to Gary. <laughs> yeah, we're from H Town. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, we're from Huntington, Indiana. <laughs> yeah. Hometown of Dan Quayle. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's better. Mine is my hometown is next to the hometown of the Jacksons. <laughs> We investigate up there quite a bit, actually, at uh, Crown Point, uh, Crown Point, the old Lake County Jail. Crown Point. Yeah, I know Crown Point. Yep. Only thing I know about Indiana is that Scott it's and Tim Hoosiers. and you know, their families live there. I know Tim and Chris. I know Scotty and his son. And his, I, I know they live there. I know other people that live there, but I don't want to visit them. You know, Gene Hackman made a movie about here. Yeah, but the only Here's thing it. I know also they got these big, big freaking fritters thing. I mean, he's yeah, we got no, fritters. No, no. Tim, Tim can just adjust the uh, can attest to the big, yeah, tenderloin. That's where I'm going. If I go when I go to Indiana, that's where I'm going. I'm going to Tim's house and he's going to feed me a freaking tenderloin. Yep, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, because it really is good, they are good. It's the Indiana State Sandwich. Now, I Not told you when that pool was shot, they moved it. They got another location in Mandeville now. So I yeah, I know it. I got to get back down there and have me another po' boy. Man, I, I ain't got to go far now. It ain't no more 30-minute trip. It's only like a five-minute trip. <laughs> <laughs> he gave Chris and I something called a French fry po' boy while we are down there. It's roast beef and French fries on the sandwich. Dude, I'm, I'll get down that on that. That's interesting. You, that you, you, put some, you put some corned shit. beef on that, dude. I'm, I'll eat that shit. Well, well dude, basically, was... what it is, what it is, is basically a bunch of French fries I'm on it. And they take the, the debris from roasting a, a, a 
a roast a roast from a roast beef sandwich. They just take the gravy from it and it's got big, it's debris. So you got a lot of roast beef particles and stuff like that. It's like mashed up roast beef. So it's the gravy that goes on it. And of course you have the lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, all that stuff, mayonnaise, whatever. And then they dress it out like that. And it's on French bread. So that sucker there, it will hurt you. Bag is. I'm moving to the U.S. for the food. New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans is, is the place for food, I'm telling you. Chicago is the place for food, too. Yeah. I'll see in, I'll see in 42 hours and two weeks in quarantine. And I, I've had this argument a million food. times, Michael. I've, I've had this argument a million times. I'm a Chicago pizza guy, not a New York pizza guy. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Chicago yeah. pies are the bomb. I do miss Ed DeBevitz in Chicago, though. Spielberg likes dropping hints in his films. It means he needed new tires. That's probably what it meant. He made that show, that movie, just to get some tires. I'm thinking somebody just the state of marshmallow people paid money to have the endorsement, so he just threw it in as a Michelin guy, <laughs> just to be funny. Yeah, yeah. It was a great comic moment when you know yeah. Anne Aykroyd's like, I thought of the thing that was the happiest, oh, friendliest yeah. thing in the world. To the state of marshmallow man. <laughs> and it's a marshmallow. <laughs> I just, like, the- I, just like when, I just like when Bill Murray looks at him and says, Ray, what did you do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Anthony, like I mentioned last night, though, with the new uh, Afterlife film, I love how they did the ending yeah. where he how Ramus kind of flutters yeah. off. That yep. that was a really. Cool I thought it was a true. I thought it was a really true tribute to Harold Ramis. Yeah, yeah. Which and most people don't understand. He not only starred in the first two Ghostbuster movies. He wrote those. Him and Dan Aykroyd wrote those movies. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yep. Well, he did a lot of writing and producing him. that most people never saw. And I think that's mm-hmm. one of the best movies to show like spirit. And how it interacts and everything, like the light starts moving to show where he wants you to look. <laughs> and all those little subtle little clues, like the drawer opening that so she could get the tool. <laughs> I was like, I loved that because that's exactly how it would feel like with your grandfather, you know. He would oh yeah, absolutely help you get the tools. <laughs> But, yeah, it was a good movie. I really liked that movie. Yeah, but I got to say, though, I like the new ejector seat for the Ecto-1. <laughs> oh, absolutely. That, that well, was he... hilarious to see her hanging out of the car, <laughs> blasting the whole city. And then we had, for our wedding, when we got married, we had, the, we had the ghost buses there. So they were at our wedding. Oh, lucky. Had Ecto-1 outside. Had Ecto one, yeah, sure did. It was fun. It was fun. It was a fun way. You should have talked to him about driving you away from the wedding in the in the Ecto. Yeah, we were doing. It was storming. It was just real bad weather. I mean, Louisiana. Did they play yeah, the but, sirens though? Oh yeah. Hey, you know, you know how it's, it's the new, not the old Ecto one, but the second one from Ghostbusters two when yeah. they had the. It says for hire on the side of it, like in the graphic. It was yeah. on there and it said, Congratulations, Jackie and Howard. You know, on it, so. That's awesome, dude. That's cool. This is, uh, I have. Have you any of you oh, yeah. a real life ghost? Of course. That made you stand on in and question everything you ever know. No, well, no, I haven't. I've experienced real life ghosts, but I've never. Nice. To that Not extreme, yet. yeah. I've never myself besides myself, myself in the mirror, you know. know but right. <laughs> oh. I've experienced them. <laughs> um, I've I've never had an actual experience with any kind of paranormal things, as far as visual. Um, hear things? Oh, absolutely. I've heard numerous things. Uh, 
I heard a growl yeah. last week while we were at Mrs. Cinewall 1812. So it's probably my stomach. Probably. Yeah, I'm in the or, or, your, or, your, or your butthole. There's a lot of that coyotes out there, Scott. Right. Yeah, well, it sounded like it was right next to me, dude. And yeah. there was nothing there. Yeah. So yeah. I I was on an investigation Saturday night and I had a growl. I had I was like you normally you would think you would turn and look at it, except I had a spirit right in my face. And so I was like, I am not oh, turning wow. away with the spirit in my face to see what's growling at me. I'm like, you can growl all you want over there. I am not breaking my focus here. <laughs> and you're right, Crystal. Um, I did get scratched. But like I said, as far as uh, actually seeing some, yeah, I haven't. I want to. But I just uh, I haven't yet. And it was funny. The location we were at didn't have a working bathroom. So you had to go like out in the backyard and go to the bathroom. And Scott's yep. like, I'm going to go out to the bathroom. And then he's like, ow. And he turns around and he runs into the bathroom of the place that does not work. Oh, wow. And he's like, yanking his pants off. I'm like, Scott, you can't pee in there. And he's like, no, dude, I got scratched. No, it wasn't so much scratched. Uh, I you know, it was chilly, so I work outside. I'm a city worker, so I dress for the weather. So I had uh, my Wolverine mm -hmm. long johns on over my jeans. So when I went out to go pee, uh, to me, it felt like something was biting me. And so that's when I came back into in the Davies house and went into the bathroom, started to strip off, and sure enough, uh, there were scratches. So that was my probably... One of my first experiences as far as something with me. Yeah. I was going to say, I've been touched a few times, been poked and prodded. And I've had a few times where I've, yes. I've felt something from a past event that's affected me physically at the moment. In fact, Scott had something happen like that, like that happened to him at Waverly. Yeah, I remember yes. that. And then yeah, when I was at Waverly, I felt like the back of my head was going to just pop off. And then come yeah. to find out that there was a person who was murdered in the building that was beat in the back of the head with a hammer. And I just had this searing pain in the back of my head. That's not that's not William, was it? Yes. William. He was, was a homeless guy. That's where we did the live investigation, Howard. What's that? I'm sorry. I was, was actually that the place on a that live was live um, on Facebook when I was doing the readings and stuff. Yeah, I was live from there while that, that was, was going on, and I had to get that off the live and leave the building before my headache. Yeah, Scotty um, was in no. there, and he was doing EVPs, and it was saying, "I'm I'm doing a live with yeah, you know, I'm hosting live, and it's saying my name, and it's telling stuff that I had a, a blood clot in my leg at the time, yep. and it, it even called out my leg and everything." Yeah, and, at that and what was? Time. Sorry, Howard, going ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What was weird before that is while I'm sitting there talking to Howard and doing this live panel, Aiden, Aiden is sitting next to me, and we're basically sitting on the steps to the stage. And he's like, Dad, I heard, you know, it was either walking or knocking noises. So I got up to investigate, didn't see anything that would have caused it, and I sat down. And that's when it started saying stuff about Howard. And then I immediately started getting a headache and extremely sick to my stomach. So for me, that's odd because I'm not like that. I'm a very close off person. So um, I'm like, you know, what? I'm going to have to go outside. So and yeah, I gave you had to get grounded. I had to get grounded. Yeah. Yeah, no, normally I'm pretty closed off myself. So that was it's happened to me twice. And uh, I had another instance where I was at Crown Point and I got locked in a in a cell and I just wanted to ram my head into the bars. Yep, I remember that. And then going back to the research, yeah. we came home and researched and found out that two of the inmates there committed suicide by ramming their head in into the bars. Yep. Right. Yeah. Weren't there mobs? Howard, is that the location where they were? That's, Waverly, Waverly. That's where yeah. Dillinger escaped from. Yeah. Well, that's it's nine oh four. Um, I know okay. it's ten o'clock 
on the, on the East Coast. Um, and I know Scotty's got to be going at night night soon because he's got to be at work early yeah. in the morning. And yeah. oh, good. God knows I got to get up in the morning because I got to go back to go back back on vacation, which I'm yep. only for, for to, to that evening. And then I'll get to have till next week off. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. we appreciate everybody coming on tonight. Yes. Mike, thank you. Thank you for coming Tim, out of your thank vacation you. for tonight. Yeah, no problem, brother. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, love and having y'all on here. I mean, it's just, just oh, look, Eileen Jones. I just got back. Well, and the ironic thing, That's Howard, right. is Anthony Hayes started telling me this story just as we had to end the show. And here again, he comes on with this really cool story right at the moment where well, you're Anthony, ending the show. Friend me, friend me on Facebook. Find me and friend me on Facebook. I'd like to hear it. And maybe we could get you on a show or something. And, and yeah, tell Howard. You'll be able to do it. I think he's in the UK, <laughs> Howard. Okay. Well, he can still friend me. I mean, he's on Facebook. Oh, no, I know. I'm just meaning when you say on your show, the time difference, he'll be like early a.m. for them. Yeah, it would, depends on what time, which show. Like this one here would be like at 1 o'clock in the morning, I think. Something like right. that. Six uh, hours. It's six, six hours, hours yeah. time difference. Yep. So, But anyway, uh appreciate everybody coming on and uh, – uh, Chrissy will be back with, with Mr. Scotty Too Hotty himself, and uh, she'll be going for a couple of more weeks, hopefully less than that. But you know, I, I'm it's everybody leaves me alone and, and 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 let me do take my vacation, do what I have to do, <laughs> and stop. Hey, let me get a shameless plug in. Um, let, nope. let, let me get a shameless get, get, plug get in. in. Sorry about that, Howard. Nights, nine o'clock Central Time on Pun One. Come and check out Exploring Our Secret Past. Yes. Yes. And I'll definitely it check Michael it out. And, It'll be there. Mike, Michael and Carla. So, that, yeah, that was a, it's a great show, and everybody should watch it. Don't Absolutely. forget, tomorrow night, I'll be back tomorrow night. That's the only show that I'm, I'm hosting. It's the only show I'm working on is the Petri Dish. And like I said in the beginning of the show, next well, tomorrow's guest is going to be uh, uh, Mustafa Galatoire. He's uh, an A&E's ghost hunter. Uh, also, he's doing a new show, and we're going to talk about it a little bit. And then uh, he also, also just came out with a hot sauce. He's got a hot sauce. I'm gonna have to try it. And then Scotty, me and you know, Scotty's the, the spicy man. Scotty, give it a shot and see what he thinks. Also, oh, and yeah. then uh, also uh, the, the formats changed and the, the hosts have changed. Uh, we uh, our new hosts are going to be Matt Barron, his wife Mackenzie. We have Squeakers on there, uh, myself and my wife Jacqueline. <laughs> Oh shit! Ooh. The swamp witch, swamp witch. Jackie, yeah, check your butt. But yeah, she she's gonna be on there. Uh, so and then Friday night, listen, queens. Who cares about Friday night, listen, queens? Unholy <laughs> Trinity, Unholy yeah. Trinity. Unholy now listen. Trinity. <laughs> <laughs> but See, we this is it. why I picked Tuesday night. Is I'm not competing with any of y'all. The right. Uh, but uh, no, it, it, it's uh, we Love changed you. the format up on the petri dish. So for the first hour and a half of the show, it's going to be original petri dish, and then we're going to have a segment we're going to cut into for thirty minutes, yes. hopefully just thirty minutes. It's called Petri's okay. Paranormal Rant, and uh, I am going to oh, be, be good. yeah, oh yeah, it's going to be good, all right, because I'll give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> Anything and everything that comes to mind. It's always I mean, how it. Yep. It's it's going to be out there. I'm gonna call names. If I got to call names out, I'll call names. I don't give it. It's it's me ranting, and there is a warning on it too. So you, if you watch it, it's on you. Okay, so I'm just letting you know. <laughs> okay. So I kind of can't, can't, can't wait to watch tomorrow night, Howard. Yeah, you know, I, uh, I, I have a few subjects I'm throwing around in the old brain pan right now, but <laughs> I want to talk about, but uh. <laughs> Might talk about pirates in Indiana. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go there. <laughs> yes, I made him a fourth of ten. Well, that God. might be a very Woo. short show, but you might be able to get something out about it. Matt Morgan of the Seagram Seven Seas. <laughs> oh, <God. coughs> But uh, yeah, that's all we have for tonight. And uh, uh, Grandma said, 
It's not only their head, she can talk to them. Cheyenne, I really want to talk to you. Friend me on Facebook. And uh, like I said, we'll, we'll make time. Uh, if, I mean, I can call you during the day yeah. or something, and, and we'll make time and talk to y'all. Yeah. Let's just make it easy. Everybody just friend Howard. <laughs> yep. Start hitting them up. And I'm already at, I'll call you all day tomorrow. No, you ain't oh, yeah. <laughs> Put a block on your I can see Howard turning his phone off tomorrow, Eileen. I know. But Howard's going to be like, damn it, Michael, you're you on my paranormal rant now. And, and <laughs> the next thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get Tim and Crystal back out of I'm retirement. Here. And they need to start back with the K-Files. Yeah, that was right a good thing. driving me nuts with... Uh, with baby stuff. I know. Yeah. Gotta get ready for that. I told I'm you. I might get a U-Haul to drive out to North Carolina in February. When it gets closer and we near the sex of the baby, I can hook y'all up. Mm -hmm. And why are we waiting for that moment? Right. For the sex of the baby? Yeah. I mean, for the way send me a bunch of girl stuff and then I. Yeah, and it's a boy. I, I was making clear I knew what he was hooking you up with because I'm thinking hey, crib and I'm like, what is the crib? Just matter? so you know, my daughter Michaela was, we were told that it was a boy. All right, kids, go. And she was a girl. I said, you must have had her finger up. Yeah, right. <laughs> Where's the stem? It fell off the apple. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm kind of thinking, Tim, that somebody lost their job after making that declaration. <laughs> no, it's funny because everybody's like, how did you handle that? And you had a boy name picked out. I'm like, yeah, but the boy name, we just feminized. She was going to be Michael Eugene after yes, my grandfather and Chris's so grandfather. Good. And now she's Michaela Jean. So we just feminized the same name. Right yeah, on. There you go. It's always nice to know you throw an A at the end of a word and, and it becomes go. feminine. Yep. <laughs> that was my daughter. Oh, yeah. Aww. Nice. Little legs. I'm ready to party. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you all for coming on and watching tonight. And uh, uh, like I said, stay tuned uh, tomorrow. Come on, watch the Petri dish. And, and, and Steve, with that, uh, like I said, we have Mustafa is going to be on. And then uh, Chrissy should be back on on Holy Trinity and doing Paranormal Swamp Talk with Mr. Scotty Tuhati himself. Oh yeah. Awesome. So. All right, guys. Well, thank y'all for watching, right. and uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. -bye.